From the time I was a girl, life has changed so much for women. I think about my mother who really wanted to go to college and become an accountant and she graduated high school in the 1950s. Those kinds of things weren't in the cards for her. I got into politics because I got mad. I got mad at my state legislature that decided to take away funding from a preschool program that my kids were in that I thought was critically important. And when I went to talk to them, I was told I couldn't make a difference because I was just a mom in tennis shoes. I ran because I was looking for some other way to serve my nation than in uniform. I showed up to volunteer for a local legislative race with my kids in a stroller. When I came into the Senate, it was the first time electing 13 women. We had one woman on every committee. So we have 51% of the seats in the House of Representatives and in the Senate held by women. Uh, we're not done yet. Women are half the world, we should be half the Senate. When there are more perspectives at the table, we make better decisions. Women are in positions to open doors, they blaze trails. We need more women in the boardrooms, in, in government, in politics. There are so many women in charge, we want to see more of it. What I always say to young women who come to me is that you are stronger than you think you are. The women who have influenced me in my life have shown me that uh, it's not about avoiding failure. As long as you keep trying, that's where the victories come. Take risks, get out of your comfort zones, and really that is uh, what enables any of us to truly grow and spread our wings. We have work to do, but we should also take a time to reflect on the progress we've made. Women are leaders. Women are strong. Women are resourceful. Women are powerful. Powerful. Powerful.